Hello friends, this is Drama Bass and today we are going to talk about best mature BL dramas of all the time. If I'm being honest, I love mature stories whether it be a BL or not. I like to see the sexual tension between the characters before they are all lovey-dovey. I like the seduction because it feels raw and today I'm going to list some of my favorite BL series that you should not miss. But let me tell you that this list is my personal opinion and if I miss some of your favorite then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video, please like, subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now, I won't bother you guys for more. So let's get start it why are you tutor is said to be wise beyond his ear and acts rationally while fighter is the emotional kind they start by having some animosity with each other but soon developed a close bond saifa is a popular musician and is often engaged in acts of mischief while john a science fiction writer is shy yet stubborn due to a bet made with his sister zol he starts writing science fiction stories but after being scolded by his parents for not studying properly his writing is cut short later when his friend tells him to steal ideas from his sister he sees that his name is being used in her fiction alongside that of his enemy saifa Okay so first of all this is one of the best series i have ever watched and trust me you definitely should not miss this the best part of this series is basically the story of tutor and fighter and the rest is something that i wish they could have never shot honestly z saint portrays their emotions so well it's absolutely difficult to take your eyes off them the plot only gets better and i don't want to ruin the story for you but this is definitely a must watch the nc scenes got me rolling and i'm not getting i have never seen this good chemistry in a bail couple z saint are my favorite and there is no debate about it the end of the world with you The End of the World with You is a Japanese BL series about two ex-lovers reuniting before the apocalypse. In 10 days a meteor will strike the earth and kill the humanity. Masumi Nishina is surprised to reunite with his university boyfriend Ritsu Kasukabe, who once broke his heart. The world's impending destruction forces them to team up together. They go on a sad journey of redemption and reconciliation. This series has an open ending. I am trying not to give any spoilers. That's why I am not going to tell my theory. But at the end of it, I love this series. The unpredictable events, eccentric character, and gritty relationship drama create it as a memorable BL series. Masumi's sweet voice is heaven, and the NC scenes are bestest best. Lastly, I loved the music, especially the last song. I think the music reflected the sad but bright world they lived in, which makes it more emotional. So overall this is a must watch and you should watch it. Than type Type Thiwat is a handsome freshman and hates gay people but his life turns upside down when he meets a charismatic roommate Than Kirigan who is also openly gay with a gay guy and a homophobic guy that have to share a small space together for the rest of the year what can possibly be the outcome of the story? Now this drama is amazing and controversial at the same time. The love scenes are irresistible especially the kisses. Mew Gulf kiss is one of the best. So yes, give it a go. But if you are sensitive toward homophobic slangs and all, then you should not watch it because um yes, this drama aired in 2019. The novelist Kuzumi Haruhiko is a university student. One day he causes a bicycle accident. The accident causes novelist Kijima Ryo to break his arm. Kuzumi does not have insurance or money to pay Kijima for his injury. Kijima then asks Kuzumi to transcribe a story he is writing. Kuzumi is surprised to learn the story is obscene. First I want to start by saying that if you are considering watching this series then you need to know that this is not the usual fluffy drama with tons of comic relief I absolutely loved this it's raw it's intriguing and it's highly sexual 
there is a lot of depth in this drama and to this story and I don't think everyone choosing to watch this will be able to understand it. This series is not about the romance because this is not romantic at all. It is an absolute seductive and dark gem, a straightforward story about the relationship between two men. Kin Posh Kin Posh is my favorite series of all the time and it is just awesome. Kin is the second son of the mafia boss is being hunted by enemies when he is rescued by Posh, a student working part time at a pub. Kin offers Posh a job as his personal bodyguard leading to a dangerous love and Kin have three brothers Tan Khun, Kim and Kin himself. I think this drama gave another definition to the Thai bills and I loved it. The scenes, acting, location and especially the music. Whoever chose the background music is just an angel. Believe me, you will love it. So make sure to watch it with your earphones for better experience. It is a must watch series so please watch. Love in the air Rain and Sky meets Payu and Papai, who are not only cuning saviors but also guys making storm in two best friend hearts. The war of love is about to take place in the warm spring, hot summer, lonely autumn and cold winter. How would the atmosphere of love be? Which way would their heart wave and air full of love take them to? Now this drama is spicy, nothing else. The chemistry between the actors is very good and the story is very addicting. You are going to enjoy it but if you want some great plot then this is not for you. But great love scenes. Bed Friend Ua is a very private person who hates Casanovas while King is smart and is a Casanova. King and Ua work in the same office and both are best friends with Jade. They don't like each other but begin to have particular relation for some reasons. If you want a lot of spicy scenes with a cute rom-com and some heavy stuffs on the side too in just one series then this is the one you are looking for and believe me you won't regret it i enjoyed it and you are going to enjoy it too Big Dragon After a wild passionate night at a bar Mangorn and Yai's fate become inseparable intertwined Yai the owner of the bar decides to completely renovate the place so that he can erase the memory of the sinful night but it just so happened that the designer in charge of the renovation is none other than Mangorn himself Now to be honest this drama gained a lot of hype but could not live through it at first this seems to be a dark theme drama but later it becomes just a regular soft college drama if you don't want to focus on the storyline much and just want to enjoy the chemistry of couples and love scenes this is one for you but if you like story and you want to focus on the story itself um i don't think you should watch it <laughs> cutie pie The sons of two companies were engaged to each other. One does not want an arranged marriage while the other wants to win him over. Meet Jilan Wang and Kua Kirati soon. And there is a second season too, Cutie Pie to You. Is the sequel to the Thai BL series Cutie Pie. The short second season continues the original love story following the main character's graduation. Kua has just graduated and Lian is excited to start planning their wedding, but there is a dream that is holding Kua back. Will this affect their relationship? If you are a fan of Cutie Pie then obviously you have enjoyed the season 1 and you will enjoy the sequel too. Both seasons are great and it was really great to see the cast stepping into their characters which they did a great job with what they were given. If you haven't watched Cutie Pie season 1 so there is no need to watch Cutie Pie season 2 because it is a continuation. So you should definitely watch season 1 first and then season 2. Both seasons have excellent music as always. New new OSTs are the best. They are well performed in the series too. This This series is full of fancy scenes which makes it more alluring if you crave some skin. It's an absolute must watch series. Love Syndrome 3 
An unexpected accident left Day with serious injuries, making it blame himself for what happened to him. What will it do when Day wakes up with no memories at all? The person who used to be so caring and loving become ruthless. How will a love story unravel between them? It tells himself, I must be patient with Day. So to be honest, Day has anger management issues that he needs to work out but he can't. It has panic attacks because of his man and his issues. They were toxic and I hate myself for it but I ate them all up. Really, I enjoyed it. The handband job scenes were killer. I love that. I think Lee Long Shi and Frank have great chemistry. I might not be the biggest fan of their characters and there are scenes that drive me up the walls but their chemistry is amazing. The end scenes are sweet in one episode and turns completely opposite in others. So um, this drama is totally a hot mess which made me lose my mind and I cannot forget it. This is a must watch of 2023. Believe me, this is the hottest BL of 2023 and you should watch it. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones and there are more videos to come. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if I miss some of your favorite series, then please comment down and I will make another video for it. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.